Hey, welcome back guys. I've got a viewer request video and it's how do you connect a PPM receiver like the FreeSky D4R2 to the Flip32 F4. Not the Flip32 Omnibus F4, just the, you know, the normal Flip32 F4. They got the Revo pin header edition, the special edition, the this and that. A bunch of different models of this. The reason you can't just immediately plug in a D4R2 or any other PPM receiver and get it to work is because uh, with the Omnibus flight controllers, the F3s and the F4s, you look right here where it says uh, PPM and SBUS and it has two little resistors on uh, both of these. But on these boards it only has a resistor on the SBUS. These resistors are nothing special, it's actually a zero ohm resistor, meaning that you can actually place a little bit of solder in between the two pads to complete the circuit. So I have no resistor right here, I just placed a drop of solder, I, I removed it and then put the solder on it. I didn't have to, I just did it for this video. Uh, but point being, on PPM there is no resistor, no solder, no nothing. So all you want to do is uh, place a drop of solder to connect those two pads together and complete that circuit. Now while I'm here, I will go ahead and show you how to set everything up in Betaflight. So let's just plug in a USB cable and turn our transmitters on. Hey JC, welcome back. Remember, if you are not getting the solid green light, then that means you have not yet bound your receiver. Either that or you have incorrect firmware on it. Look in my D4R2 playlist and you will find both of those videos. So now let's just go into Betaflight and connect. Now uh, the way it should work is if you go to configuration and you just select PPM here then it should work but uh, this flight controller and firmware is a little bit different so we want to go to uh, ports and the pin you use to connect the receiver to the board uh, which is right next to the PPM and the, and the SBUS pin that is actually UART number three receive so we want to come under UART3 and turn on Serial RX, which is something you normally do not have to do with a PPM receiver. Like I said, this is a special case. Let's reconnect, then go to configuration. It's gonna switch it from PPM to a serial-based receiver. We need to switch it back to PPM. Save again. Reconnect, now go back to receiver. We see our channels now. You can move your gimbals around and flip any switches if you have already created those and everything should now be working. Now as far as telemetry, uh, I have made two separate videos showing you how to get telemetry working on these boards. Uh, the F4 boards, they do not have the hardware inverters needed to uninvert the inverted FreeSky telemetry if you do have a FreeSky receiver. Uh, I did a video on the X4 RSB as well as the XSR. I have not made one for the D4R2 because uh, I haven't looked at it close enough. I haven't found where you have to make that modification to the receiver like I did on those other ones. And uh, I'm not going to. I do apologize for that. I would recommend either using an on-screen display, which is all I use anyway. I don't use telemetry. Or you can watch my X4 RSB or XSR videos, get an idea of how you need to modify the receiver, and then search on some forms to find out what you need to solder that wire to to tap into that uninverted signal. And that's basically it guys. So I hope this helps some of you out. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.